in Haiti. So we've got a few hours now before uh, daybreak, and then we're expecting to see the full scale of uh, the damage and devastation that this uh, powerful earthquake has wrought on the island. We have taken... We have reports that uh, there were fatalities. Um, we don't have uh, an exact number as yet, but uh, there are reports of fatalities. Earlier, um, there were no confirmations of that, but uh, certainly now indications that people have uh, died um, as a result of this earthquake. And uh, that, that, that site there of those buildings um, crumbling and some completely destroyed, repeated over and over again. And while speaking to uh, one witness, saying that uh, a lot of people just helping themselves, you can certainly see that gentleman there being uh, carried out, um, out onto the street by other residents. But we did see earlier um, presence of some UN soldiers with those uh, familiar blue caps. There they are um, on the streets because uh, there had been some concern that um, um, there hadn't been very much presence of uh, government soldiers or organisations as yet. But uh, shots there of some UN soldiers um, on the streets, uh, obviously trying to help some of those people. And you can see there that the, the streets just full of uh, residents that have been affected um, by this earthquake. Uh, they're refusing to go back, it, back in. The aftershocks keep coming, certainly isn't safe. And uh, that man there being dragged out of, um, out of the rubble under there. Um, Port-au-Prince was the worst affected area. The, the epicenter itself of the earthquake was uh, around 10 miles um, from the city centre. Petionville, which is located at uh, slightly higher ground, uh, did have some damage, but um, it's been reported not as wide scale and not as devastating as uh, Port-au-Prince itself. And the geography of the region causing terrible problems as well. Lots of um, hillsides and ravines with lots of buildings and construction built up um, on these hillsides and there have been reports of uh, buildings just sliding into these uh, deep ravines and obviously the, the hope of recovering people there, um, highly doubtful. So that picture there you can see is uh, of the building, you can see the roof completely collapsed and uh, people have been saying that the buildings have continued to crumble, uh, things haven't stopped, things aren't calm yet and uh, the UN also confirming that um, their building, their headquarters, has uh, suffered significant damage as a result of this earthquake. Uh, their building was located in the capital, Port-au-Prince itself, and uh, a spokesman um, in a statement issued in New York saying that uh, the United Nations can confirm that the headquarters of the United Nations Stabilization Mission in Haiti, in Port-au-Prince, has sustained serious damage along with other UN installations. And uh, going on to add, a large number of personnel remain unaccounted for. And it's uh, probably good to remember that a number, a large number of aid agencies... In